The magic school bus gets cold feet. When you miss free school class, things never happen the way they're supposed to. Like the other day, when Liz, the class leader, was missing, we tore up the whole classroom, but we couldn't find her anywhere. Even her hat bag was missing. We were about to give up hope when Miss Frizzle blew into the room. She was riding a giant alligator balloon that sprung a leak. Miss Frizzle, Liz is missing. Phoebe cried. Oh, I know, Miss Frizzle said. And so is the air from my alligator. The class was puzzled. Miss Frizzle didn't seem worried about Liz at all. Wonder didn't notice. He was busy looking for clues. I found a note. It's written in lizard. Wonder cried. Can you read it, Miss Frizzle? Let's see, Miss Frizzle said. Call porch scale monster. Fang pace. That sounds like a packing list. Tim cried. Then lift did move out. Arnold found another clue. A page torn out of a magazine. It showed a picture of a big white building. I bet this is where she went. Arnold said, "The address is right here. The big place where Liz moved is called Herpha." Arnold said. Wonder shook her head. The rest of the ha is torn off. She said, "It's not Herpha. It's Herp something else." Okay, but what's a Herp? Good question. Miss Frizzle smiled. Ralphie, quite simply, a herb is a reptile, and Liz is a lizard, which makes her a reptile. Keisha said, "That that still doesn't explain why Liz would pack up and leave us." Wanda said, "She could be in danger. We have to rescue her." The bus pulled up to the address. Wanda read the sign in front of the building. Herb, herb. Hasn't she said? I told you it wasn't her pa. Hasn't missed a safe place," said Dorothy. And Ralphie saw another sign. "Yikes! An alligator crossing." Before the class could get a close look at the alligators, a large car pulled up and a woman got out. She was holding a leash with giant toy toys on one end. A tall man in a white suit opened the front door. I want my tortoise toe and stuff, just like the last one," the woman told him. The class couldn't believe their ears. Toe and stuff. It sounds like the turtle is about to become somebody's dinner. Carlos cried. What if Liz is next? To be well, if only we could get inside. Wanda tried to get inside, but it didn't work. The man at the door pulled a long scroll of paper. There's a list of requirements that must be met before entry is allowed," he said. "Body temperature, changeable. Sweet glands, none. Scales or skin, allowed. Hair, not allowed. So you see, I cannot let you in. Good day." He then wandered the list and shut the door with a loud bang. Back on the bus, the class examined the list. Body temperature, changeable. Alice read. Carlos sighed. Well, that lets us out. Our body temperature stays mostly the same. That's why we're called warm blooded. Keisha said. Tim looked thoughtful. Then it's a reptile cold blooded. All、oh, reptiles are cold blooded. Miss Frizzle replied. Dorothy Ann was reading a book. I've got it. She cried. In ancient times, Greek soldiers built a huge wooden. Horse and they hid inside to fool the enemy. It was called a Trojan horse. I know, Phoebe said. We can turn the bus into a Trojan alligator. Phoebe stood outside the bus. Miss Frizzle pulled a lever. Whoosh! Green smoke filled the air. When the smoke cleared, Phoebe saw that the bus had shrunk. It looks like a life-size alligator. It's a bus alligator now, <laughs> Phoebe cried. Phoebe pulled a leash around the bus alligator and walked up to the front door. The man in the white suit left Phoebe and the alligator bus alligator and without problem. What splendid alligator! The man said. He grabbed the leash. I'll take her now. 
I should go with her. Phoebe said. He she doesn't like to be alone. Don't worry, the, the man said, leading the bus a little away. We just love our cloud-blood creatures to death. He left Phoebe all alone. Oh no! Phoebe moaned. He's going to toss and stuff the bus glitter just like that tortoise. From inside the bus glitter, we heard a loud splash. We did it! Wonder cried. We're in! But where exactly are we? We looked out the bus glitter from windows. We're in a pool of water near a waterfall. An island filled with shade trees and plants sat just a few feet away. On the bus glitter, all kinds of reptiles were crawling, including alligators. How do you get out of here? Fluffy asked. We can't get out of here, Anna said nervously. Those are real snakes and alligators crawling around. We can't find this by staying in here, Wanda pointed out. We've been worked out ourselves. We can look for this with that guy in white boarding us, Keisha suggested. One just Miss Frizzle smile. Good thinking, she shot. She walked over a strange machine built into the bus. It was covered with buttons and flashing lights. Kiss, meet the reptilator, the Frizz said. It will turn us into reptiles in no time. The Miss Frizzle pulled the lever. In a flash, we all turned into reptiles, except for Arnold and Dorothy Ann. Carlos was a special cannon. Tim was a gecko. Keisha was a garden snake. Wanda was a chameleon. Waffy was a turtle, and Miss Frizzle was a frilled lizard. I'm cold, Ruffy said, sticking his head inside the shell. To get warm, we'll have to move out to the warmer place. Carlos suggested, Light, "Let's try the heat lamp over here." We all crawled into the lamp. It's lot nice and warm here. Tim said, "I guess to feel the heat, you have to find the heat." Meanwhile, Phoebe was trying to find Liz on her own. He checked the kitchen just in case the man in white was trying to cook Liz for dinner. Phoebe didn't find Liz, but she did find a meal in the menu. The Liz would get just one meal a week. Phoebe couldn't believe what she was reading. And the alligators get only one meal a month. How inhuman! What kind of place is this? While Phoebe checked out the kitchen, we all crawled into the boiler room. It really is boring here, Tim said. How do so how come I'm not sweating like I usually do when I'm hot? Three glance, none. Wonder said. That's what it says on the scroll. What about reptiles? Can't wait to cool down. Ruffy swat his head out of the shell. If you have to find heat to feel warm, maybe you should have find cold to cool down. He said. Miss Frizzle put a water bucket towards us. Keisha slithered over to the bucket and stuck her tail in the cold water. Wow! I can feel my temperature dropping already. She exclaimed. Ruffy crawled towards the bucket, except for Wanda. We're more worried than about staying the right temperature than we are about finding Liz," Wanda said. Back at the bus glider, Anna and Dorothy were freezing. Let's move to the bus glider when it's w- warmer," Dorothy chattered. But the bus wouldn't budge. Anna and Dorothy left the bus glider and tried to push the heat lamp towards it. They didn't go far before Anna noticed they were being followed by a swarm of reptiles. After Miss Frizzle and we left the boiler room, we crawled into another room. It was cold, very cold. Reptiles were sleeping in glass crawlers. A green lizard was crawling in one of them. It's Liz! Everyone cried. She's barely breathing. Tim noticed. Keisha put her hand near Liz's chest. I can hear her heartbeat. Wake up, Liz! Wonder cried. Ralph is there at least. She's not sleeping. She looks like she's frozen. There's one thing I don't get, Keisha said. If I feel so cold, how come I'm not shivering? Reptiles can't shiver, Wanda said. Shivering is just something people do to get warm. Throwing down, isn't that like hibernation? Keisha asked. Exactly, Miss Frizzle said sleepily. We can't sleep here and sleep here when Phoebe was in. When did your guys become reptiles? She gasped. 
Wonder raised her hand. Phoebe and and he but Nate Nate Liv take her some some place place warm. Phoebe grabbed Liv, Miss Rizzo, and the rest of the class in her arms. I'll save you from all the dangerous place, she said. Phoebe raced out of the cold room. As she warmed up in Phoebe's arms, Liz started to wake up. Soon, we ran right into the bus elevator in the raptor habitat. One day, I looked inside the bus. Arnold, DA, get, up, get us out of here. We c- can't, Arnold said. The bus is so c- c- cold, it stopped working. Well, Ralphie groaned. If we don't get the bus moving, we could be raptor for the rest of our lives. Leaves jumped out of Phoebe's arms and crawled to a nearby heat lamp. A bunch of other reptiles were there too. Look at Liz, Carol said. She doesn't look so cold anymore. She looks happy. Well, if we get the bus twice warmer, it's not working again, Wanda said. I can't do that. I can't do that, what Phoebe said. We climbed into the bus and Phoebe pulled it towards the lamp. With Phoebe's help, we made it to the heat lamp. The bus later worn up, and pretty soon it was moving again. We followed Phoebe outside. We were free. Suddenly, a pile of nearby rocks stopped moving. But they were rocks. They were alligators. Do something, Miss Frizzle! Phoebe yelled. The frizz pulled some, some, more, some more nibbles. And soon, we were all turned back into kids again. The bus later changed back into the size of a regular bus. But now, it was a giant lizard. Phoebe climbed aboard. Just we were, we were able to escape over the fence, the strange man in white came running after us. He carried something covered by a sheet. You forgot something, he said, pulling out the sheet. Liz Habitat, we cried. Miss Rizzo shook his head. Fred, ha- thanks, Harry. You know him, Phoebe asked. Harry helps. It's one who built Liz Habitat. Miss Rizzo says with a smile, it just need a few repairs. I won't hurt heaven, Harry had it. It's a luxury bar and wrestle resort from very worn out reptiles. So we're going to stuff Liz, Arnold asked. Harry laughed, hardly, but we did make sure she had enough to eat. It wasn't difficult because reptiles often go for weeks without eating. Miss Rizzo why didn't you tell us this was a good place to be. Phoebe asked. The Swiss smiled. I started to tell you, but I just love it when you figure out things about for yourselves.